Welcome viewers to another video. In this game, I'll be showing the amazing brilliance of white in this position. So, it first started off by white going rook takes e8. Pretty simple, but this is probably my favorite daily puzzle. Not because it's a weird mid in 10 with a knight, or it's an extremely hard boring position. It's because white had the immortal queen. Let me show you. In this position, you might need to go bishop d6, maybe threatening mate like that, or sacrificing the bishop like this. But you do none of that. You do. Queen e5! This is the immortal queen! Probably thinking, why is this immortal? It could be taken three different ways. But all of them lead to checkmate. Let me show you. First of all, if you take with this pawn, you go straight away checkmate like this. Beautiful two bishops checkmate. But if he takes with the rook, it's the exact same thought process. You take it, and it's a two bishops checkmate. And no, the queen cannot take you back because there is a rook in the way. But let's say he takes with the queen. This is a little, this is a little bit more complicated. Then you take back, and either he takes here, you get checkmate, or he goes forward later in the game. And you'll take this. Or if he doesn't lose anything, you'll eventually take it and win the game. He took it. And I win the game. So this is a goes to show that sometimes you just gotta make the immortal queen. White went queen e5, which made this queen completely immortal. Because no matter what happens, no matter what took it, it's just check me on the next move. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.